Unfortunately, it's not as easy to organize and optimize your files in Inkscape as it is in Illustrator. You have to do a little extra work, just one extra step, but that extra step can be huge if your file is complicated. So let's uh, walk through it. Uh, the first thing you need to do is just like in um, Illustrator, you're going to want to highlight your the sections of your file uh, and then go to fill and, uh, fill and stroke and stroke style and set marker uh, so that you can set an arrow uh, head on each piece so you can see the directionality of each line. So that's exactly like Illustrator. Uh, the hard part comes in with the individual lines. You can't move the individual lines uh, without making them actually uh, their own layer. So what we need to do is kind of go through and add a few different layers so in this case I have four layers because there are four sections to my uh, punch out uh, and then what I want to do is actually cut each piece uh, and then paste it into uh, a layer uh, so now if I hide that layer that piece is um, you know it's in that layer so now I want to grab another piece uh, and set another layer, oops, let's uh, cut that first, cut, set another layer and then again go up paste in place and so now if I turn that layer on and off we've got that and so on. So we just need to go through and select uh, each individual section, uh, cut it, select a layer and paste in place uh, in that uh, in that layer. So again, one last piece I'll go ahead and cut. Uh, we'll go back up to paste in place here. And now we've got our sections in individual layers so now we can actually do the ordering operation the same way we did before. So uh, given that this cut right here starts closest to the upper left corner, this is the one I want to go first. So I'm going to drag layer 3 uh, down so it's the bottom layer. Then over here, uh, layer 4 is what we want to go next, so I'm going to put that one close to the bottom. Then we've got um, layer 2, and finally layer 1. So that's the order of operations uh, that I want things to cut in. Um, and so it's basically the same process, but there is that one extra step. And then finally, uh, don't forget to highlight everything, go back to uh, fill and stroke, and turn off um, that marker. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want to have the arrows in our cut pattern. So that's it.